Bible says it's of the Lord's mercies that we're not consumed. The Bible says his compassions failed not. The Bible says they are renewed every single morning. And then the Bible says great is the faithfulness of God. And listen, everybody that's listening to us tonight, everybody that is singing with us tonight in the room in this virtual space, you have to understand that the Lord has kept you because of his purpose on your life. I, I need everybody to recognize this, that you were born with purpose. You were born for purpose and you were born on purpose. God birthed you into this world because there was a job for you to do. And I'm super excited that even when the world may give up on you and even when people question what it is that's about you, God says, I got plans for your life. I, I know what those plans are. Those plans are of peace and for good and not for evil because I want to give you an expected end. Is there anybody in the room tonight that knows you've got an expected end? You know that God's got something great for you. You know that this is not all that God has. So tonight, I want to put a demand on you that whatever God has placed inside of you, it is time for you to manifest. Listen, you have no choice but to be what God has called you to be. The Bible says to everything there is a season and there is a time to every purpose under the heaven. And I need you to understand the time for your purpose has come. There is a need for you. You are somebody's answer. You are what the world has been looking for. The Bible says that the world is groaning and moaning, waiting for the manifestation for the sons of God. But I got some good news for you tonight. It's time yes. for you to be everything that God has called you to be. Yeah. So I got one command, manifest. Isn't it amazing that one word can change your life? One word can cause your season to shift. Tonight, we're about to take you into a place where your season is about to shift. It doesn't matter what was holding you, just like with Lazarus, he was in that tomb. But when Jesus stood up with a loud voice and said, Lazarus, come forth. I don't care what was holding him back. It had to release him. Tonight, whatever has been holding you back, it's about to be released. Whatever has been holding you up, it's about to let you go. Tonight, manifest. Manifest. You don't have no choice. Manifest. I, I need you to type it in, in, in the comment section. I need you to turn to somebody in this room and just put a demand on them and tell them, manifest, manifest, manifest. You will be what God has designed for you to be.
time. Me to be, me to be. Whatever it is from the Lord you need. You are what God is designed. Everybody watch and say, you are, you are, say it. You are, you are the last. You to be my brother, my sister. All over the world, all over the world, we want to remind you. You are, you are, you are, you are. You to be. Last time. Everybody say, I am. I just want to remind somebody, I am what God designed me to be. There are many circumstances that surround your life. Somebody said you'll never be. Your circumstances don't allow you to see yourself on the other side of victory, but you are.
fire. Glory to God. We'll be. We already are. You already are. You already are. Your children already is. Your son is. Your son is. Your daughter is. Your children are. You are. everybody to get on your feet wherever you are and in your own way I know we are different shapes and sizes but that doesn't stop you from praising God if you're believing God for something then this praise says there's going to be a performance on it so God I'm praising you in advance for a performance over my finances over my health over my healing over our nation over the nations so for 30 seconds I just want you to give God a radical I don't care if you have an African praise or and I 